Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today I'm going to be building the bar lot in the new Werewolf game pack. This video is sponsored by EA, so thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to build these lots for the Werewolves game pack. I had so much fun and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it just as much as I enjoyed building them for you. Now let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video. This is super early, so early that it doesn't even have a name yet. It's just, I'm just calling it Wolf Pack because I don't know what it's called. And the world is just called Wolf Town right now, which is obviously not the final name. But I am building all of the lots that come with this pack. Make sure to check out the other videos in the series as well. Today we're going to be working on the bar. Every lot that we build is going to go through four review phases. So I'm going to build my initial idea and almost like a rough draft. It'll go to the Sims team, they review it, they give me some feedback or if things need to be changed or if things are broken. We go back, change it and then rinse and repeat a couple of times until we arrive at the final lot. So today I'm going to be doing the rough draft and this lot is one of my favorite lot types in The Sims 4. We can never have enough of them. It's the bar. <laughs> this one's actually kind of fun though. So it's actually on a really big lot, this 50 by 40 and which by the way, uh, again this is a super duper early version Hence, my name is jumping around the screen so that I don't leak any of this before I'm allowed to. But you can tell it's early because these are all like placeholder buildings and we have like placeholder fake sims around the world. Obviously the world is not detailed. It's basically pretty much just all base game assets sort of circling around us at the moment. There's a few other things, but yeah, super duper early version. So everything you see here is 100% subject to change. So just keep that in mind. We're not looking at the world today because it's not even, it's barely started. <laughs> but yeah, so the but interesting thing about this bar lot, it's gonna be inside of a double decker bus kind of, uh, like the bar, which I don't have it yet. Um, I'll put it up on screen in editing of what it will look like, because I don't have it yet, but. So basically it'll be a certain size. The actual usable space we needed, I think is a four by two. And then by the looks of it, it's quite a bit bigger than that. So maybe, I'm just trying to sketch out how much space I should sort of designate for it. Probably about like this. I think it's kind of the size. So essentially it's like a bus looking thing, like a, almost like a double decker London kind of style bus. And this is what I'm going to use to represent it. Obviously it looks nothing like this, but I need something so I know where it's going to go, for example. So the bar sits in here. Oh, is this it? This is probably it, but wait, this is a guitar skill. Okay, maybe there's a guitar. <laughs> yeah, it's not in the game yet, but it's a, I know it's a four tile long bar, so I'm just going to put in this one. The interesting thing about this bar lot, which is why I'm excited to build it, is essentially, so we have this bus, it's just kind of sitting out in the open, probably an area kind of like this, you can imagine it. So it's sort of just open, there'll be like a bus that's just been abandoned, been turned into a bar by the locals, but it's also a secret entrance to the underground sewer system. So most of this lot is actually going to be in the basement. So it's kind of like a club hangout for the werewolves almost. So downstairs we can do stuff like beds, uh, card table, like comfy furniture, just like kind of a sewer system that has been sort of turned into a club hangout. So I think there's a lot of potential to make this really cool. It's going to be hard at the moment though, because again, like I said, I don't really have any of the assets. I can't use any cheats, so no move objects or anything like that. Uh, so we just got to work with what we got. I'm going to get rid of that tree. I don't need that. Uh, this is going to go, I don't know, I'm thinking... Well, we've got sort of these pathways here. Obviously these are very subject to change. I mean, even the literal physical position of this lot may change. Like everything at this point in time is not set in stone. Uh, but yeah, if these are the roads, I was thinking like you, you had this bus, someone obviously brought it here and dumped it here. So the, the main sort of town road is over there. So you could bring it in, maybe have it dumped. I kind of think around here could be good. Because the entrance of the lot is here. Okay, I want to do it on a diagonal. I think, or is that going to be really, that might be really annoying. I don't know how it's going to work because I want quite a bit of space behind it. We need to build a secret entrance to the underground, which is going to be pretty exciting. So I want to have some, we need to have like trees and it needs to be kind of hidden. Uh, so I guess we're going to use some of these pine trees. Now, again, I can't use any, I can't use even the free place. I have to use just regular game placing, no move objects. And I obviously don't want to place too many items because it has to run on everyone's computer and everyone's console. So we don't want to go too over the top, but we also need it to look like it's, you know, in a forest, <laughs> like, like it's in a forest and it makes sense, you know? So I'm thinking we sort of, if we almost section off this back corner, we can have like a little entrance somewhere down here. You know, what? I deleted that tree. I've just put it back. <laughs> I need that there. I think what we need to do, we're allowed to use terrain tools as far as I'm aware. This may, again, this may have to change, but we'll see. Maybe we can have some sort of 
raised terrain, but like quite small. Look, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but <laughs> so if I put stairs underneath going upward, it will just sort of cut. Oh, I was hoping, you know what? I was hoping it would cut the terrain out on an angle. That would have been so cool. Um, so we could just do something like that, but I'm wondering if we should try and put it in a building. Um, Cause we can even do stuff like this too, but like, I think that's, that doesn't look very nice to be, <laughs> to be perfect. Love is just having a hole in the ground like that. Also, I have to keep in mind that there is a canal here, so having a random hill there might look a bit strange. But one of the options I have in mind is just doing like an outhouse and we just pop in a ladder, right? So that's like a really easy way to do it. And then we can make it like look really gross is the other thing. But then, I don't know, like I, I feel like that's not as exciting as it could be. Like I feel like it should be almost feel like a discovery. Like you visit this lot for the first time and you're like, wait, hang on a second. I didn't even know that was there. Maybe instead of going up, we go down. I think going up, the problem was it kind of seemed a bit strange. Like maybe we could have like almost this little dugout area. You know, I'll keep this because I, I think this is a this is a good backup. I think we'll go with the outhouse as like our everything else, every other idea failed. But I think we might be able to do something with this. So what I would like to do, ideal, I think that has to they have to have access from the back of this um, item. So from the bar. Now again, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the bar in a diagonal, so be here and we'll have like a seating area in front of it, but. I think if we can just, you know what? It'd actually be good to keep the outhouse and have that as like a fake out. People are like, oh, that's the entrance, obviously. And then boom, it's not an entrance. Gotcha. <laughs> Wanna make sure we have enough like lower down foliage as well so that it sort of, when you're playing like this, you can't easily see it. What are the trees are they using? Now all these trees in the world, they, they're probably gonna change as well. Maybe not all of them, but you know, some of these might change. So we might have to change our lot accordingly as well. Also, we have to keep in mind, we can't just add trees that clearly don't fit the climate. Like this is not gonna be in this world. At least I don't think so. So I'm gonna say you come back here looking good. And then we're gonna have the little tree. We're gonna have some down here too. So it sort of goes in that area. Cause I don't like this uh, terrain color there. Maybe let's smooth it out so we don't actually see that. We want this area down here to be flat cause we'll have the entrance down here somewhere. I just want you to be playing from this angle and be like, eh, there's nothing there. Maybe even like, like I want you to be able to spin around and you might just miss it, you know? Do a little gap through here. So that will sort of be where you come in. So if the sewer is here, maybe should we have the entrance sort of almost facing toward it? So it kind of looks like you're going into it. Or should it be going down this way? Probably this way, just because otherwise we're right on the edge of the lot. All right, I got to figure out how this is going to work. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I know I kind of want to do the entrance here. I don't know how this is going to work, what it's going to look like. I guess if we just have like a regular room and then maybe use roofs. Because roofs can blend into the terrain, you see. So we could do something like this, okay? Because if we have this like sitting pretty much perfectly there, then we use this like mossy roof. So we don't have the grass roofs, unfortunately, from uh, Eco Lifestyle. Those would be like perfect for this. But we can use these roofs. Let's not worry about it removing items at the moment. So almost create like a hidden... Okay, I need to remove these trees because I don't know why I'm trying to build with them in the way. Well, this should be like a stone entrance, but I mean, these stones don't look good. Maybe like a... Uh, actually, maybe like this. It could be like an like an old sewer entrance. Okay, so maybe it's like out of these old bricks or something. What if we curve these as well? I don't know if this is gonna help hide it. But the other, the other thing I was gonna say we can do is grab the terrain tool and we can actually bring up the terrain around the roof a bit more. Because as long as the because the actual room is there, right? So if we get something like this around it and then smooth it like way further out, keeping a flat area there for the bar then that almost kind of hides itself, which is pretty cool. Obviously, you know, I still need some trees and stuff. The top of it is not <laughs> particularly well hidden. Obviously these side walls aren't either. I think we need to maybe work on some landscaping here, but probably bring some of this down, extend it out a bit. I mean, that's kind of cool. I think that, I think that works. Okay, let's, let's keep going with this. Okay, I think I might need more space. All right, because <laughs> yeah, I can't place any doors here. <laughs> so interestingly, when I put it on the ground or go down lower, it doesn't work. But at this height, it does. So why don't we just go to this height? <laughs> I don't I don't know why it's not working lower down. I also think I'm going to make this thing bigger. So I'm going to go not four wide. I think we'll do three wide. And then I want to use this door. Yes, that's epic. Okay, I just removed all the trees because it, <laughs> it was way too hard to see. But I think this is good. We've got like a slow, gentle hill, which I'm, I mean, I'm still working on. Just to like refine some bits of it. Trying to, we want to basically have it to be as like sort of nice and smooth as possible and not have as much of that orange cliff edge in there. A little bit's okay, but trying to make it as clean as possible. So it just really blends in. Cause I think that'd be cool. Like have trees in front of this, we'll have the bus here. 
We'll have the main uh, bar area here. I'm gonna actually rebuild this and do it diagonally. Uh, there's my bus. <laughs> yeah. All right, little outhouse. I definitely still want to use that. Um, might need to make it a little bit bigger though to actually make it a functional toilet because we'll do a toilet and a sink in there because I think we need that anyway, don't we? Toilet sink, yeah. So we'll try and incorporate that up here. I don't know if I can use these larger trees because it's a different, it's a Norway spruce pine. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what their specific style guide is. So look, I'll put them in and then if we need to change them, we need to change them, you know. We also need it to have a good balance between not looking too forested because it's not really supposed to be either. Now I definitely want a good gameplay view. So when you come down here, you can see it easily because otherwise if there's trees everywhere, it's gonna be super annoying. So that's all right. You get a good view there of the entrance, which is nice. And I think this will be like a pathway there. Cause this is, so this is gonna be the main bar area. I mean, that doesn't look too like dissimilar from the other stuff. Obviously this is all placeholder out here, but I think that's, I don't think it's too out of place. And maybe I'm a little too rigid on the straight edge because obviously we don't want it to look like we're on a big rectangle plonked down. So maybe I'll try and just not go too close to the, like not stick along the straight edge of it as, as much, you know? But something like that's pretty good. Like I'm pretty happy with that. Like I would like this bar to be like in a fully wooded area. Like if it was like sort of in amongst all this over there, like lots of trees around, I think that'd be really cool. But obviously working with what we got, I think this will do. Let's do some terrain painting. Uh, I don't want to do too much because again, it's probably all going to change. And then, uh, so we do need like some sort of a pathway coming down here. You know, that sort of walk probably around this way. That's probably a little bit better. Cause I kind of like this little path. that's almost like showing through there. You know, so there's a few little ways to go. How much you want to bet the Sims just going to like walk this way and like come straight around or something dumb. <laughs> That'll probably do something that doesn't make any sense. All right, this little outhouse, I should probably move this cause this is just, whoops, uh, in a little random spot at the moment. This is a nice little spot. Make sure that doesn't clip through the wall. Yeah, that's good. So this will be the little outhouse. And then we're going to use this. Oh yeah, this roof texture is so good. Probably that darker one. And then I love this roof texture because it's got the actual holes in it. So you actually get light coming through like the ceiling. I think it's so cool. Uh, flooring wise, I'm actually not sure. Or I guess it'd just be wood as well. I kind of wish we had like a crummy wood too. Cause these are all, I mean, they're all pretty nice. Yeah, that's all right. Cause then at nighttime you get a nice amount of lighting on that. Uh, and it doesn't look too out of place. Look, we're not savages. Little toilet paper roll, there you go. But we're gonna go under. Ooh, controversial. <laughs> we'll go with that for now. Okay, so the actual bar area, mostly outdoors is kind of what we gotta do. So let's have a look. We need barstool, dining chairs, waste disposal, dining table, stereo, television. Actually, you know what? I think, I think there's a new bin coming, potentially. I might've made that up. Yeah, I think there is. So I'm gonna use, I'll use this for now, but I think there's a like a barrel sort of coming. Um, uh, like an oil kind of looking barrel, that kind of thing. Whoa, this building is huge. I, the bar is so much smaller than this, I think. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's gonna go here somewhere. Look, there's not much I can detail with this until we get the rest of it. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Now as for seating, I was thinking like these kind of thing, like tires that just like sort of placed around. I think there's also a bonfire coming too. Yeah, these are really far apart. <laughs> so I think if we had like a bonfire, maybe over here, I'm just going to say this is the bonfire. The bonfire there, they can sort of hang around with the, the bar just over there. Get a few different colors on these too. Nice. And then I kind of want, want something over this. Like I feel like we could have some sort of structure that just looks kind of cool. I don't want to do too much again, because we're going we gotta to do stuff underneath, but I almost feel like we should have something here. Well, actually that's a bonfire. So maybe not over the bonfire. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe over here actually, because if we have the bus, I don't know exactly where it's going to go. Then we can have like a, not, this won't be undercover. It'll be, you'll see. I'm gonna use these fences just to make a room. Then we have these awesome new span. Look at these, how cool are these? Or what if we use it as almost like an entrance? Have something like this, right? I actually do have like a barbed, oh, slightly higher. I guess I can make these taller. I'm not gonna go all the way around. I think it just maybe some sort of, I don't know, little, little bit of a fence maybe. Is that, is there any point doing that? I don't wanna do a fence all the way around because I think that's gonna be too much. Is this silly? Do we have this fence? I mean, I kind of like it. Does it get in the way though? Like if you're if you're over here, I guess not. It's kind of, it could be like a cool backdrop entrance thing. Can a sim even fit under this is actually a good question. <laughs> not check that. Cause like if we have a look at a door, it's actually taller than that. So that could actually be a problem. Can I move this up? Maybe if I put this here and then move this bandrel there and then I move it up, right? Oh, <laughs> I mean I can, but then 
That's there. I think we try this fence thing. I'm gonna test that. I hope that works. Otherwise, maybe we just leave a gap or something. I don't know. Um, then we'll just do another tree there. So we have like this sort of fence coming around. I mean, I think maybe like we could do this in front of the fence somewhere. I don't know. Just make it look like it's been there a bit longer. There's just stuff growing around it. Then you can still easily see it, and that'll be like a bonfire. We're gonna have to do some tables here. Maybe like uh, some of these. That's pretty nice though. Does that even count? It does count. Okay. But we don't have any bar stools. Oh, I guess I can just... I'm just gonna have to use some of these for now. For now, it's just gonna be this. <laughs> it's so ugly. Don't worry about it. All right, dining chairs. I think we'll maybe do that downstairs. Because I think... Like a, a full picnic table kind of makes more sense up here anyway. Ooh, this is cool. This could be used for um, a nice little seating area. I guess maybe it could go around here as well. Maybe... Because that's a bonfire. We could have like a log here. I want this area to not feel too expansive, you know. Another problem I realize is we don't really have any outdoor lights that are like big. Like we got this, but this is like way too fancy. <laughs> like there, like there's no like street lights. So I have to use like little, little ones, which is not ideal. Maybe we could just have, is it weird to have a lamp outside? Like I know this is kind of just like, this is like an abandoned place that they've sort of made their own. So I guess it's not that unusual, right? You know, it's kind of, it's kind of fallen apart, but they've, they've moved in made a bar slash secret club hangout. I'm not sure what lighting situation we got going on over there. I guess this is just a rough draft and I guess we can see what they say, you know? Okay, just a quick test. Let's go here. I mean, it looks like you can fit, it's pretty low. Okay, okay, we're good. We can fit under that. <laughs> That's kind of all that mattered. Oh, actually, the other thing that probably matters is can we get down here? And also, which way do you go? It's going this way, okay. Are you gonna follow any of my paths or no nope, through the tree? I mean you kind of okay, you kinda of, oh wait. Oh yeah, okay, he's kind of following it. Oh my door messed up. What the heck? Cool. Alright, well you can definitely get into that space. That's good. Um alright, so I guess here we could do like a spiral staircase, maybe. Uh, cause I just don't know that I want to do a ladder is the only thing. So oh well, whoops. So let's go basement, put that there, just put it directly underneath, and then we'll figure out the rest of it. So I'm going to use these stairs because it's, uh, I mean, the new stairs may as well go like this and then like that. So we're going to put these into this room. Hopefully they work. Stairs have no steps. All right, we'll start from the bottom then. Oops. All right, now the stairs have steps. Good. And then maybe we could do some green stairs just for a bit of fun. Get this fence. We're going to drag it along, remove the floor. Oh, I have to remove the ceiling of the basement. There we go. Now we can see down. Very nice. We also do, there's actually new ceiling lights and stuff coming, but we don't have them yet. So that is actually something else. Um, we could probably use those later. Now I might also just use that so we can see a little bit better. All right, so you're gonna come in here. This is gonna be, I guess it just should just be like a concrete floor, you know, makes sense. Come down the bottom. All right, so this is where we're gonna have the hangout down here. Now this is supposed to be like in the sewers kind of, right? So how do we wanna do this? And also do I want it to be taller down here? Do I want it to be tall? I kind of do, because I feel like it should be quite big. Quite grand. Not like super grand, but kind of grand, you know? Kind of like a grand design, if you will. So let's go big. I have an idea of what I want it to look like. But obviously the bottom is a little bit longer. You know what? I might actually turn those more. Get like a, almost like a spiral. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> should we do a column in the middle? That's kind of cool. Can we get like lights around this? I guess the problem is you can't really see it. <laughs> you see this or, <laughs> or this? I mean, it's there, okay? I'm gonna start off using my favorite lights uh, just so we can get some sort of lighting in here. Now, I don't think I wanna build this way because that's like right on the edge of the lot, so it's kind of annoying. Um, I think what we'll do, so you'll come down here and we will have we will have a room here because otherwise it'll be a bit a bit uninteresting if there wasn't a room. I'm gonna do this, remove this section. Okay, let's delete all that, I don't want that. So this is like, I guess the sewer system underneath, right? So I wanna use, I kind of, Hope, I don't think they, I don't know if they are, but I kind of wish we had taller versions of these doors, like a middle wall height. Cause there's some really cool doors, but I think, well, I'm gonna use this for sure. Just sort of walk through in here. A little bit more, yeah, the bricks look a little bit rougher on that one, that's good. Uh, the lighting will be changed to, I guess, the new lights once we get them in. So for now, I'm just gonna do these ones. Maybe even just one light. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then that's gonna come into this room. That doesn't need to be a thing, that can go away. Come into this room. Through there, yeah, so we're gonna have this big room here. Um, that's gonna be the main hangout area. And then there has to be some way to actually enter the sewers themselves. So I'm thinking we could maybe do that through here. Cause if you look above, we actually have like some sort of sewer network here. 
So maybe actually maybe this direction because if it was here there should be like an entrance there which it clearly isn't. So maybe some entrance this way. You go through here and then this will go to like the teleporter for the rest of the world. Okay. Quite like the green of these. I'm going to use these. So down here we're going to have these. I think that's just a nice aesthetic and maybe oh yeah I was going to actually do them going across but I think down the side actually looks kind of cool. Just be open like that maybe. Or I was just going to use another one of these. Actually, you know what? We're going to put this archway here and then we'll have this door here. I love this door, by the way. It's so cool. It's kind of hard to see because it's quite dark down here, but... All right, so you can sort of enter through this door to go to the hangout. Or this way, I guess we'll go to whatever the... I don't know even know what the teleporter object is going to be or how it's going to work or, or anything like that. I assume it'll just be a thing where your sim goes into and then you travel somewhere. Uh, I don't know what it looks like. Hopefully it makes sense in there. I think that's... I think this, this aesthetic is looking cool. I think it's looking great. Now in here, I want to do something similar with the columns, but maybe not as in your face. Because obviously when you have all the walls down, there's a lot of columns. I might have, even have to remove like as many as I have there, uh, which is fine. But I would like to make this look like some form of under, underground sewer system. Like a big room that maybe is used when there's floods or something. So I'm going to actually do platforms on the side here like I did in the other room, but not as big. So these platforms in here I actually did two. I went up two because I didn't actually want a sim to walk up there. These ones I want them to walk up, so. Oh my gosh, doesn't that lighting look really cool with the columns though? Like if we have these, I don't know, I find that so cool. Now, I don't know if this is all too dark, obviously. I mean, I kind of like it. I kind of like the vibe that you get from it. Because it is, it is a sewer, you're in a sewer underground, but it's not really meant for hanging out in, so there wouldn't even be many lights anyway. I mean, obviously we'll add some other lights in like the, the lamp and stuff. Uh, I do want like a sleeping quarters though, that's the other thing, so. I think for, a, I want to do beds. I want them to be in a separate room. This room might be too big because we need what dining chairs and dining table, which I think, I'm not sure if there's another dining table coming, but maybe we could use it. But I think we might be better off just using another table, at least for now. Now this is definitely a place where they've tr like just brought down the stuff themselves. So it's all going to be like a little bit off, a little bit sort of pushed around. Like I think we'll have maybe some chairs like this. We only need four chairs, right? So, and then maybe there'll be like another one that's like sort of over here or something. You know, like they've just pushed the chair back, but they haven't put it back in. Obviously they won't use it to use the table, but I think that's a good way to just have a little bit of character in this too. I hope there's another table we can use because that'd be great. I think I'm just going to use all different chairs here because it looks, these chairs are so cool. So we get all, I mean, that looks cool. Even just this with nothing else going on. I think that looks great. Oh, we gotta have a graffiti. You know what? We might be able to get a bedroom back here. Maybe we do something like this. I would use the archway again because I think that makes sense, but I want them behind a door. Otherwise it was going to get woken up by like the right. Oh, that looks so cool. I think that looks amazing. Like not to talk myself up. Nah, see th these assets are so cool. They're perfect for this kind of build. Gonna get a few rugs here, I think. Layer them. Oh, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> but we will have a few rugs, but I think we'll just have to place them a little bit further apart. So one there, maybe like one over here. I don't want the rugs to sh like steal the show as much. So I think, yeah, the dark color is probably better because otherwise they're too bright. Yeah, 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 that looks great. And a stereo and a television. I wonder if they have a stereo coming. Yeah, well, I think this is probably a good one to use back there. That looks, that looks kind of cool. It's kind of in a random spot, but like I, uh, like I was saying, I think that's just how this place is going to be, you know, like it is kind of random. You can even have this sitting up here. It's going to have an old TV because there's no way we can have like a brand new TV, a big flat screen down here. We get this little TV maybe up there. How are we looking? Is this getting too... Like when you walk in this room, I don't want it to be like all over the shop. Like maybe we should the couch be on the side maybe? I mean we can just push it back. Because I definitely want to use these armchairs as well. There's some really, these really cool like armchairs. These like old home theater ones. Even this one is like from an old cinema or something is kind of what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. I love these. Uh, these are too similar. I want everything to look different. Because none of these pieces should have been found at the same time, you know. They've sort of just gathered them up. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, I don't know if this chair actually really fits in this place. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So we've got like a little lounge area here. Sort of dining hangout area. Do we have any like clutter or anything yet? I don't think that, that, that we don't have a whole bunch of stuff in the game yet. So, you know, there's only so much we can do. Definitely going to use these posters around the place. Or these, um, I guess, not really posters are they, but graffiti and artwork. Let's get um, a oh, pile of laundry for sure. Kind of like the idea of them just like chucking clothes around the place and being a bit messy. 
Cool, I'm, and I'm pretty happy with that, like this room. Um, and then I just want to do some beds and stuff. I guess maybe also a bathroom down here would be good instead of just the outhouse. So bed wise, oh, there is actually some new beds coming. So it'll make more sense later on, but I'm thinking we just go a bed, a bed. I get like a column somewhere. I like columns kind of make everything look cool. Oh, and then like these dresses, yeah, yeah. We got some like trunks in here, but like the scuffed ones, yeah, like that. Nice. There's something like that. Maybe we could have, um, I think there is like new curtain thing too. Like not this, but one that kind of looks like this. So maybe we could have something up on the wall just for decoration purposes. Um, yeah, I want to do more with that room, but I think I might wait a little bit longer. Um, now, I, these sides are all kind of blank. Um, I kind of did that on purpose because, I mean, you don't really need it. It kind of is, it's kind of just there to serve like the look. Like it makes it feel bigger, you know, having that sort of all open up there. But we, we could add some more stuff down there. I think I might just wait for more decorative pieces to come in. Now as for a bathroom, maybe we can add it off this little uh, corridor thing here. Or maybe off this, this section. I might do it here because I almost feel like, because this is like, I, I guess it would have been, or it still is like a, a sewer entrance. Maybe this is like a caretaker or something would be down here for some reason. I don't know why, quite frankly. This is a bizarre sewer, but let's not get into it. <laughs> so maybe we have a bathroom here and I kind of want to build like a little office like the like the boss was down here or something um and I might add a bookcase uh it's pretty big should it be in here or we could add it in the um the main section might make more sense maybe in here because we've got these big empty spaces so why don't we add like a bookcase over here oh I didn't use any of the lamps I might put one of these over here somewhere maybe like no not in front of that because I want to I want you to view this room like mostly from this angle because like when you come down, this is what you'd see. Actually, maybe let's put, what about on the back wall? Maybe like that's better. Ooh, and then why don't we move, move one of the chairs over here. All right, yeah, so I like this little reading area here. Got the bedrooms through there. I, look, we're going to have to go back through all of this. So I think this, this is a really good first draft. Now over here, we'll do a little bathroom. All right, so this is going to be a toilet. I'm going to make it go under again. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be the most controversial thing. All right, and then, I mean, I guess that's it. Uh, it doesn't really need anything else. I think there's like new mirrors coming as well that are gonna be like cracked and broken and stuff, but oh, there you go, brush your teeth there and get ready in the morning. I mean, I don't really know what else to do with this room right now. Like, I think we kind of need to get the rest of the stuff going first, but that's kind of like, that's the idea. All right, cool. I mean, I think I'm pretty happy with this overall. Obviously a lot to be changed up here, really unfinished up the top because I mean, but kind of, everything's kind of just placed in a maybe spot. Um, I quite like the entrance. I don't know what they'll think about, you know, the fence and this thing and, you know, all of this. We'll have to get feedback. I, I'm also not sure about this whole entrance because it's using the terrain and the roofs and I might have to rebuild it or something to make it work. I don't know. But I think that's pretty good. Uh, so just, yeah, we got the little forest area up the top, the little main entrance there. Hopefully they actually use that. And I mean, they can go this way too, but you know, whatever. Little outhouse. Oh, actually, I might do a little a little pathway to it because I mean, I'm sure people would be using that. I, I definitely want to do more landscaping and stuff, but I'm not going to go. I'm not going over the top now because we got we got a lot of trees. I don't know how many trees I can really put here. They might be like that's too many. We got to reduce it. So I don't know. We'll see. That's a bit better. Yeah, because if you look this way, because I want it to like from every sort of angle you're looking at it, I want it to kind of look interesting. Like even looking out, you got this thing here. You know, there's this tree here. There's the outhouse. There's not a big flat gap there. And then back through there, you can't really see the entrance is super hidden unless you just spin your camera around, which of course you can see it. Um, oh, actually speaking of which, I think I should probably have a light here, like on the building. Like a really, cr this is such a crummy light, maybe a couple. I kind of like how crap these lights are. Like, <laughs> like it does such minimal lighting. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah, I guess we'll have to wait for the, uh, the, the bus and the bar and all that. The bonfire is going to go there. There's a whole bunch of other items as well we're going to be able to add underneath, but I think this is, I think this is really cool. All right, well, I'm going to send this off to the Sims team. I'll see you after the first review and we'll make the changes. All right, so we're back. Uh, a little bit more time has passed in like a few days. You might be able to tell from my hair, but basically I have now done every single review step, but we're going to go through each iteration so we can see it still evolve over time. Cause I really love the aspect of this build changing as time goes on. So this is after the first review. The good news is they really liked uh, the bunker entrance and the different terrain height. So we could have uh, all this sort of terrain elevation, which I'm really excited about because 
That was something that I really wanted to do was have the terrain and the bunkers sunken down. So it's kind of hidden, but obviously not really. Uh, and so with the bunker specifically, you can see we actually changed the roof to a metal. They weren't so big on the moss. Like I liked the moss because it kind of, I felt like it hit it more, but it kind of made sense because it was like a shingled roof on a sewer entrance, which I mean, that doesn't make any sense. So we changed it to metal. Um, and then we've done a few more like bushes and shrubs around here just to try and hide some of the edges and seams because like the roof kind of like clips out there a little bit. So we just put a little bush over that. We also did change the outhouse a smidge. Like we added the roof eaves back on. They preferred that look just fine with. The big change though you might be noticing is this upstairs area. So because the whole downstairs basement area is werewolf only, which by the way is signified by this new door. So this door is the same as this other door, but it only allows werewolves to move through it. So if you're not a werewolf, you cannot go in there, which I think is pretty cool. So that kind of meant that we also needed a space upstairs for regular Sims to go to. But if you have seasons installed, we also needed somewhere that could be undercover from the rain so that everything didn't break. So we built this little, well, I say we, <laughs> please. I built this little shack, which in my mind was kind of like maybe the site manager's office, whatever this area used to be, like maybe a, a scrapyard or storage area or just something to do with the town. Like it was a manager's office that has now been repurposed into like a little uh, club area. So there's like a little radio, a microphone, a little area to sit, and there should be enough room for your Sims to sort of dance in that area just there. Now this, if you recall, is gonna be a bonfire. We don't have that just yet. So that hasn't changed. Um, I guess the other thing I should probably point out is the world is like completely filled in and looking really cool now. I mean, look at this. Anyway, this video is not about the world, but I should probably just mention it. Um, yeah, so we don't have the bus yet, uh, which will be coming in soon, which is cool. But then I think there's maybe minor changes to some landscaping, but those are kind of the main changes upstairs. Now downstairs, we had a few changes as well. So we've actually added, well, we changed this table out to the game table so you can actually play games down here instead of just sitting at the table, which I think is good because it gives you another activity to do. And also added in a guitar. So we've got the guitar, the jukebox. There's also added in the punching bag here too. Um, so there's just a lot of activities down here. So all the workout equipment, we've got the TV, the game table, music, guitar, and of course the, the sleeping room, which don't worry, is changing. Uh, we don't have the beds yet. Those will be coming in. Uh, and then, <laughs> so this area, this area was really funny. It was just like a desk and nothing else. <laughs> and they were a little confused as to what it was. And to be fair, I didn't really know what it was either. So instead we've turned it into a kitchen um, next to the bathroom. So this is actually really cool because it means you can come down here, hang out and maybe even practically live on this lot in the world. Uh, Cause you've got the kitchen, the bathroom, uh, you know, TV, entertainment, sleeping. So you can do everything you need in this slot, which I think is pretty cool. So just a little kitchen, nothing fancy, uh, just really, really basic crappy stuff to be honest. But I mean, look, we're in an, an old sewer area. So <laughs> what do you expect? But yeah, so we'll go and see what they think of this one and we'll check back in at the next revision. Okay, so this one has less changes. We're sort of getting closer to what it's gonna be. Uh, the first major change you'll probably notice looking at this is the fence actually now runs a little bit further around the lot because um, they wanted it to feel more like it, you know, the fence was there for a reason. In my mind, it was kind of like the fence used to be there and it's knocked down or fallen over. If we had like fallen down fences or rusty fences, like or broken fences, I would have put those around. Like I would have preferred that. But obviously in this case, we just sort of extended the fence a little further around. I've also reduced the number of trees on the lot. So it sort of better blends in with the area because obviously this particular area isn't super foresty. I mean, the rest of the map has a lot of trees, but this area is obviously logged out a bit more uh, than the surrounding area. So we sort of thinned out the trees, but I did add in some more shrubs and, and foliage that way. Now I didn't mention this last time, but I did actually add these little signs at the entrance uh, in the last change, which I forgot to mention, uh, just to give it a little bit more oomph as you're sort of going into it. Now we finally have the bonfire, which is pretty sweet. It's kind of cool. It's got like the couch in there as well. Uh, you got like the couch sticking out of there, a few boxes, some artwork. Uh, planks of wood that actually sort of match the same colors as some of the walls, which is kind of cool. So that's there. Uh, I think I had changed some of the columns on this build because I wanted it to look a little bit chunkier, a little bit more sort of slapped together with big uh, wooden columns and stuff. That's pretty much it for the upstairs. I mean, again, like there's some bush and shrub changes around the place, but I mean, not like that's it <laughs> upstairs. The downstairs, there's a few changes uh, just to general uh, 
aesthetic. So we actually did a different flooring in this main area just to break it up a bit so it wasn't all the same flooring throughout. Uh, so that's there now. We also actually ended up adding in a fire sprinkler system. So if there is a fire, which is probably likely with some of the NPCs in here, um, it should be put out, uh, hopefully, <laughs> with that system in place. Uh, and then I also have uh, a little bit of a cutout now because we know that the uh, sewer teleportation sort of object is about a two by two. So that, that'll slot into that room when it's out. And then there's some minor like uh, furniture adjustment in here, sort of bunching some things together a little bit. I think some of these chairs have changed too. Maybe, I don't know. Like, you know, there's a few different things here and there. We've got this bookcase, which I'm not sure if it was there last time, but look at this. We've got the new beds in here and that mirror. I love, I love this mirror being cracked and like taped. I love some of the, the variations on this as well. So, so cool. So that's in there. Uh, little crate rug, you know, so you can come in there and sleep. It's nothing fancy, but it's a place that you can rest up if you need to. And then, yeah, like I said, I think some of these items are sort of bunched a little bit more together just so they weren't so like spaced out and it kind of made a little bit more sense that way. But yeah, I think that's it for this revision. So let's jump on to the next one and see what changes. So the first change that they actually wanted me to make for this revision related to the map. So if you do a lot of terrain editing in the map view, you'll be able to see the color of the terrain like on the map. So like all of this would be, you know, the dirt and the grass, you'd be able to see it. So the way to avoid that showing up on the map is actually to have less terrain elevation changes. So I had to unfortunately make the bunker or the sewer entrance, I don't know why I'm calling it a bunker, the sewer entrance a little less low, which is a shame, but we did it. I think it works. So if we swing around to where the bunker is, I mean, if I didn't tell you I did that, I don't know if you'd notice. It was lit, I think it was like one stair height adjustment. And that's actually all I needed to do because we still have a raise up hill here and it still sinks down. So I think the same idea is still there. Um, not as, you know, different in elevation anymore, but it works and it makes the map look nice and clean, which is, I mean, what's that, what they wanted. So that's what we did. So we finally have the bus, uh, which is basically just a big item that places around the bar, which I think looks awesome and is perfect for this area. So the bus is sitting in there now, and they also wanted me to do some colored lighting around the place. So just various different colors of light, like blues and reds and purples and greens, just to make it look a little bit more funky uh, was their words. They wanted a little bit more interesting. Also move this lamp actually over to under here because if it rained, that would break. The other lights that are out here are all, I believe, outdoor lights or off the grid, so they should be fine and they won't break in the rain. So not to worry about those. And we finally have, also have the new trash cans, which are actually these like oil drums, which I think, you know, it looks a lot better. It definitely, <laughs> definitely suits a lot, a little bit more. Now down in the tunnel area, they actually wanted me to potentially do shorter walls, which uh, to make it feel more cozy. Uh, they, they didn't say I had to do it. So shorter walls would be like this and I actually kind of think it makes it maybe feel a little bit cramped more than cozy, to be honest. It also means that these spandrels that I have here are really low. And I think that was a really nice detail to keep. So, you know, I said, I think the medium wall height makes a lot more sense just because it allows me to play more with like the platform heights, especially in here, the change that I made, because now that we have the sewer object, I actually, and because the sewer object's a regular wall height. So it looked kind of strange if it's down here because it's like a big, can I put it somewhere, please? <laughs> it's like a big object and then it just doesn't hit the roof. So it looked a little strange. So instead what I did is I actually added a platform. So you sort of step up to it and go in that way. Uh, yeah, so I, I thought the smaller walls didn't really make a lot of sense. So I, I didn't want to do that. So I, I decided not to. But what we did do is, yeah, this is where we changed the chairs around a little bit. They're sort of facing more toward the TV. Um, and we have a little fish bowl on the desk, which actually I think disappears because they wanted to put a fish in there, but that's not happening anymore. And there's actually quite a lot of plants in here now, which gives a sort of cozy vibe, you know? I don't want to go too overboard, but we got some flowers and some little vines and stuff around the place just to make it feel a little bit nicer. And that, I mean, that's kind of it. Like the changes aren't that big anymore. There's one more uh, change after this, which is just like an extra one. So this was like actually the last one I was supposed to deliver, but then I, I offered to be able to do some extra changes if they needed anything sort of major. Because normally what happens at this point is a lot is done, it goes to the team, and if they need to change something, say, let's just say this tree 
was causing a problem. They could just go and remove the tree or whatever, you know. It'd be minor things like that, or if something was blocking something, they might just move it or, you know, whatever. But I, I was like, if there's anything big that you need to change, let me know and, and we'll do that. So let's have a look at the very final changes that I made and we'll go from there. Okie dokie, so the very final submission of the lot. Here it is. If you remember before, we actually just had the spandrel coming all the way across. They wanted to remove it so you could see the bus through it. I totally agree. That makes a lot of sense to have that. It, it's a really nice sight line, to be honest, standing here. And with that, that spandrel there, it literally blocks the entire bus. So I actually agree with that. But I think they had suggested like fully removing this uh, and just getting rid of it entirely. But I actually really liked it. So I, I left these side bits in. I don't know if they're going to remove them for the final lot, but I left that there. They also didn't want uh, the two little entrances because it felt a little bit too built up, which again, I also agree with. Um, so we just went down to the one sign and I left the two sides on there, which I think works. I'm still quite, I'm still very happy with that. Um, now, something else I didn't mention is on some of these lots, they've actually added uh, the terrain paint coming slightly over the lot entrance. So it looks like a pathway sort of goes into the lot, which I'm so happy about because it means we could blend it in. Um, and not only did they uh, sort of have it overlap the lot, they actually gave us corresponding terrain paint. So this one here, it is, as you can see, a smaller resolution. So this is the world one, it's like larger. This one's smaller, but I mean, it's it's really good because it means you can still blend it in, even though they're not quite the same like resolution in terms of, it almost looks like that's more zoomed in. But to be honest, when you're in the game, if, if you ignore that white line when you're in live mode, it just blends in. So I'm really happy that we could do that. So that's there. And I think that's it. I mean, there might have been some other really minor changes. I think, oh yeah, I actually added some more fence. They wanted a little bit more fence. So I added a little bit in this corner at the back, a little bit here. So it kind of looks like the fence used to go all the way around. But obviously in time, it's broken, fallen down, or, you know, been taken down. Whatever the case may be. Again, I would have liked to have some actual, like, broken fences or something that we could use, but that's fine. But yeah, that is the final lot. Um, oh yeah, we got a lot of red lights going in here. I did that as well, because they wanted some sort of red light by the entrance, which I think is kind of sinister. It's a little bit fun. So you go down here, down into the sewer. This is all the same. Uh, they may get rid of that fishbowl. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, that is the final bar lot, which I'm super stoked about. I mean, I think it looks great. I think from up top, it kind of just looks like part of the world. Like I think the tr we, we nailed the amount of trees and foliage on this lot. Like I think it blends really nicely in with the rest of the world. But yeah, I think this turned out really, really well. We got some nice lighting going on up upstairs here. Got the little sign here at the front. Um, and I think, yeah, this is cool. I think this, I hope you guys really like this lot. Well, I hope you like all the lots that I built, but I really like this one. I think it turned out great. Like overall, from the very beginning, there wasn't like too many changes. Obviously, the probably the biggest change from the beginning was this whole building that we added, or this whole building that we added in. Um, but even still, I think that that totally just fits in. And from afar, just like and now, now like now that the lot border is gone, like I think it totally sits in with the world really nicely. Like I, I think that really, really fits. And like I was saying, like here at the front. If I didn't tell you that, that there was like a clear border there, you'd probably not really notice it. Uh, I mean, obviously if you look right here, you, you can see it, especially with the lighting there, but you know, you, you can see it, but I think in general gameplay, you're just not gonna notice it. So I think that totally worked out really, really nicely. Got the little werewolf entrance here, which I don't believe my sim is a werewolf, so we can't go in there, but that's okay. And we got the little hideout down the bottom, which I, I'm really happy about. But there you go, that is the bar lot in the werewolf's game pack. I hope you guys enjoy the lot. I had a lot of fun making it. Like I had so much fun and I, I was so honored to be able to make this. So thank you to EA for letting me do this and the, the wonderful gurus that I was working with. And hopefully you guys are gonna like this lot because I put my heart and soul into it, okay? <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out the other builds that I did for the Werewolf Game Pack. I'll link them down below in a playlist. You can check it out. I did four different builds. A lot of fun checking them all out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.